Well, as uh, Su Yuting just mentioned in her story, the Chinese and Belgian leaders have reached a consensus to deepen trade and investment ties. So what does a nation of 1.3 billion people want from a nation whose population is barely over 11 million? CCTV correspondent Mariam Zaidi reports from Brussels. It's a matter of mutual benefit. Belgian and Chinese leaders both say that the two countries have much to gain in developing closer ties, starting with trade. The EU is China's biggest trading partner and Belgium is one of the gateways to Europe. Brussels is the unofficial capital of the European Union. Now decisions made here affect the EU's 500 million consumers. Estimate the EU and China already do over a billion dollars in trade every day. Belgium's Prime Minister wants to attract more Chinese investment to his country. In 2015, bilateral trade between China and Belgium exceeded $23 billion. Chinese direct investment in Belgium topped $3 billion by the end of last year. Now, Belgium also wants Chinese companies to establish their European headquarters in Belgium and is looking to deepen commercial ties in areas as diverse as investment, innovation, aerospace and the digital economy. To promote close, Belgian officials say that they hope to join the Asia Infrastructure Investment Bank, a Chinese-led alternative to the World Bank and IMF, a sentiment China already supports. Now, Belgium was one of two EU nations that didn't apply by the March 2016 deadline to become one of the bank's founding members. That drew sharp criticism from some Belgian officials, including a former prime minister. Now, the only other EU nation that didn't apply for the membership was Ireland. My name is CCTV, Brussels.